purchased another wig and this wig is from FridayNightHair.com so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks GLS 25 and it comes with some tape and it has a lace combs adjustable straps I think this wig is 20 inches it's really long So it's about parting from ear to ear. So I'm back and this hair is so pretty. I love it. And this hair is so long. This is really 22 inches. This is a lot of hair. And it's a little full so the texture is nice. It's nice and bouncy. I love that. After I cut the lace and put the wig on and I parted how I wanted to like I like the hair, this part was a little more on this side, so I took all of that over and I just like created this little part here. And um, my leave out that I had out, I had to end up putting it all back underneath the um, stocking cap because I had to see like how much do I need and I didn't want the my hair to cover the parts. So what I did was the places where I needed the my hair to cover the mesh part i just took the the ending of the tail comb and i just like pull hair out and i left this part and i just pull hair out of here so that it can look more believable more look like a sewing instead of like a wig like have my natural hairline out oh, my only issue is that when the wind blows you might see this line here so I think I have a solution for that. I was thinking about, I'm going to like twist my hair up a little bit, put a pin in there and have it come down like this. So when the wind blow, it would be like this instead of like this. So that's what I'm going to do about that part. And then everything should be fine. But look, this is how it looks. So... Looks really good. All my edges are out here. And my other issue with this wig is the part. Now, it's some type... The parting is believable, yes. It looks like my skin. It does. But my only issue with this part is that um, it's like a little sparkle in the part. Some type of gold sparkle in the mesh of the lace. I don't know what that is. But I'm going to take my concealer and hopefully that just... You won't see that. And I just wish the part was a little deeper, like right here. That would have been fine. Because the part is like from here to here. That is like an inch. Where it should be like at least two inches. I would be satisfied with two inches of parting. That way, it's more of a deep part. So, now I'm just going to frame my face a little. <laughs> how the they put the combs like the combs are like right here and right here where it should be a little closer so it's kind of hard for you to put the combs in and this wig is a bit small to me and my head is small and I just had to stick the combs between in there between the the um, stocking cap and my hair because I really don't want this wig to fall off but anyway, well, I tried to, um, cause this part was all in my face and it was so annoying. So I tried to use the flat iron to straighten it and then I was going to curl it back some, but I can't get it to curl again. So I don't know. I'm just going to have to do something with that. 
But anyway, I put the concealer in my part. And I use MAC Pro Long Concealer in NW45. So I put the concealer in here and it canceled out that shininess and that gold glitter that was in the parting of the lace. So I have another wig to review and this one is Dominican Curly by Altre, the number two, a quick weave. And this is a half uh, half wig, so that means you have to put your hair out. Um, I should say I should have looked at her, the model in this picture and see how big it was. Yeah, this hair is really big. I mean, the curls are really pretty, but it's just, look at this. It's just too much. Just too much hair. I mean, if you like to wear big, big hair like this, then go ahead. So I'm going to see how I can fix it up. I'm going to cut it and I want to weigh it down to see if it'll work. If it'll work out for me. If not, then I don't know.